I wanted to show you one of the techniques that could come in kind of handy for uh, building support edges. Uh, so if you go up to select, you can see that there is um, use constraints and there's settings on there for current and next and you can do all kinds of uh, different things for selecting angles and uh, crease, all these different types of way of uh, selecting um, edges and um, having that based off of certain things. Like I said, this would be selecting based off of uh, an angle or the normal. And basically, if you took this model, let's say we uh, shift right click and say soften edge and everything's soft right now for that. Um, there's no hard edges on here, but if we do shift right click and we say soften harden edge soften harden and you do the option box for that and then maybe you give an angle of 20, it'll harden all the edges that are um, within this um, this this degree of angle for this right. And so if we select this, if we go to the script editor, you can open up the script editor here, and if you type in this command, if you can see what it says, poly select constraint and negative M3, negative T, 0x8000, uh, dash SM1, and then this uh, colon here. Basically what that'll do, I've taken that, and if you select it, and you middle mouse drag it up to the shelf, I put it right up here, um, you can use this to select those hard edges, right? And you can see if we take a look at uh, wireframe on shaded, it's going to select these edges around the perimeter, but it's not going to select any of these edges within here. So if we did a bevel command on here, then if we shift right click and say bevel edge, we'll just put a bevel on here and take a look, select that. And you can control the, the fraction here. So if you did something like 0.2, something like that, and if you did the segments, if you do something like two, if we zoom in on here, you can see it's going to put um, a split right down the center and do some rounding for us on that. Um, but we tap three for smooth mesh uh, preview. You can see that this is kind of a down and dirty kind of way of getting uh, support edges on there. Now you might have to go through and, and do some cleanup. Sometimes it does some odd things to your geometry for you. Um, like I could just show you right in here, shift right click and say multi cut tool. Like I can see in areas like this, you could just go across um, from here, like that. That'll make a quad, and you can see you can kind of finish that out right here in this area. Um, these polys are really big in through here, so you'd probably want to split in through here. I'm going to hold down Control with the Multi-Cut tool. If you hold down Shift, we can get to snap within the center of here. Maybe I want to go through here, like this. And I'm not going to get... Um, this to um, go ahead and do a loop all the way through. It's got it within through here, but I won't do the top because we've got some geometry that is uh, needs to be finished out for this thing. So if we did something like this and then we go from here to here, hit enter, tap three and check out and see what that looks like. And then we could just run, maybe run another one here, go here like this, tap three, and you can see what it's starting to uh, do for us at that point. Now if I'll take this right here, I want this to be nice and straight, so I just let it uh, the computer do what it wants. It's not selecting the edges for me because we've got this selection constraint turned on currently. So to turn that off, you can use this reset poly select constraint, and I just selected that uh, text, middle mouse drag up here, so I've got another button here, and that will release any of the constraints. So just a real quick note about the shelf editor here. You can see we're in the polygons shelf, and if you come over here, you can actually go to the shelf editor and open that up, and you can see that you've got the different uh, tabs and uh, shelves that you see here. These are all the different commands that sit within there, so whenever you drag that mel command, um, over like this, you can see this is the uh, poly selection constraint. Uh, now you can, I don't have anything up here, you can do an icon label, so you could do like hard soft uh, select, something like that, and you hit enter and you can see it says HS underscore S there. It's not going to give you a whole lot of room for text. Um, if I go to the next one here, then maybe I go icon label uh, reset 
selection, something like that. Just something to help you kind of remember like what those things are. And you can say save all shelves, and then after you do that, the next time you load up Maya, those are going to be present within your shelf that you have there, and you can use it for all your future sessions. Now I can double click that, take the scale tool, scale it down something like that, and then maybe now I'll do the multi-cut tool and put a slice right in through here like that. So I'll tap three for that and you can see how it's kind of finishing out the geometry for us. Uh, delete history and then just mirror this across onto the other side. And again, that's um, kind of a quick way of being able to uh, get some edges, hold hold them for you know the hardness kind of value on that. Let's turn this off here so you can just see what uh, what the results are for that. So um, I think that could come in kind of handy for you if you um, if you want to use that as a technique to kind of get um, nice consistent um, beveled edges. Now there's only some things to take in consideration so it's um, actually building quads here in the corners. Sometimes like I said you might have to do some cleanup work um, for the uh, type of geometry that it produces but um, in certain cases it can get you um, pretty nice results and get those results uh, pretty quick for you. So I just wanted to show you that as a uh, possible technique that you could use uh, and generate some nice uh, geo.